Hey folks, it's me, Ola, coming at you from the homestead. Well, my nephew Justin and I just came home from fishing and unfortunately, it was kind of a bust. And of all days, I was hoping he would get on something big. We met my friend Joe out there in the forest and we fished hard. We fished a good five hours and I got a few, but nothing to write home about. So. I thought this would be a perfect time to go ahead and do the on the water review for the Legend X casting rod that I've been using now for probably about last week. Do I like it? Do I love it? Do I hate it? So tune in now to find out my initial thoughts on this new casting rod and I'll roll a little bit of fishing footage from the few fish that were caught today. So let's roll the vid. Okay folks, let's talk about the Legend X medium heavy, six foot, eight inch, fast action casting rod. I've used it a total of four trips. I've caught one fish on it, but I think I can give you an honest little quick on the water review, my first thoughts. First thing you notice right off the bat, and keep in mind, I've been using a Garcia Veritas, like an $80 casting rod, medium heavy, fast, same action been using that the past five years so this is like not an upgrade it's a mega upgrade over that rod so it's not even in the same classification first thing you notice right off the bat is the weight 4.2 ounces then you notice that it has awesome backbone but it when you cast it doesn't feel like you're casting with the two by four it actually has some give and you can whip that with the lures I mean that was effortless and I paired it with the Corrado DC high speed reel. Plenty of backbone, yet it still has that whippy snappy capability for casting. I guess I could compare this somewhat to the Mojo Yak that I was using after I broke my Garcia. It was also a medium heavy fast, but it was heavy, heavy, heavy. And it has that plastic that weighs a ton. So another thing on this is the cork, the St. Croix cork. I love what they use. It's comfortable. If it gets wet, it's not slick. Durable too. I beat the heck out of mine and they're still good as new. And I always like a split grip. This, if I had to pick one small thing to just gripe about, it would be the size of this, but that's big. I mean, I'm used to the one on my Avid X. Let me show you that one. Oh, I don't have an Avid X with me today. Avid X is about the size of just the top of that. It doesn't have this giant taper with the butt on it. And that's probably for better casting, but for me, it, it gets in my way a little bit, working lures. But, you know, it's not a showstopper by any means. Then another thing, it does have micro guides. Some people are fans, some people hate them. Me, I go either way. I, I like them both. Just means you have to tie a better leader to braid knot. So if it does go through your guides, it comes through cleanly. And mine does. I mean, it casts perfectly. Also on the, the guides on this, they are Torzite. This is one of the least expensive rods that comes with Torzite, and I, I'm saying least expensive, it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but these Torzites are usually in $600 rods. The price tag's a little steep, but I did get 10% off, guys. I bought this for the Memorial Day sale, like a week before Memorial Day, and I got 10% off, so there's that, you save that. And I got it at Fish USA. I mean, I bought it on like Monday and it was there Thursday. Very quick service. Ordered it and it was shipped within like three hours. So fantastic service. Thank you, Fish USA. Thank you for the discount. And I, like I said, I've caught one fish on it and it's awesome. It's sensitive. It has the backbone. I caught the fish on this chatterbait and it was a good fish. I'll post that too. This fire craw chatterbait with the black trailer. I think that's a Berkeley Havoc grass pig, the small size. 
But all in all, I give it two thumbs up. I mean, you can't go wrong with St. Croix. And I'll reiterate, their warranty is the best in the business. That's how I got my other Legend, the Legend Extreme. So that is the St. Croix Legend X. Oh, one other thing, the color. Oh, there's a fish following my crankbait. Oh, he just took off. The color is not my favorite. That would be another, just a little nitpicky thing. The color isn't my favorite. I like just black rods or I'll even do a white rod. But this is green, but you know what? It matches this reel because the reel has a green handle that's almost the color of the dark green. And it's got the yellow knob with some of the yellow gold. So it matches this combo perfectly. I'm using 30 pound braid with this and a 20 pound floral leader. So that is the Legend X casting rod. Let's roll some video now. That's a fish. And it's a good one. It's better than I need. Oh no, don't jump. He just tried to jump. Oh God. Way better than I need, guys. Man alive. Yeah, it's gonna be too big, guys. Legend X. I'm on the deep fish, guys. There she goes. Good morning, folks. 6.52 on Friday morning. I'm out here in the forest. I brought some guests today. There's my nephew, Justin and we have Miss Jo. So we're out here to try to get Justin on some bass. This is his first time kayak fishing. So we're just gonna try to get on anything really. We'll, we'll take what we can get today. It's gonna be a hot one, but we'll see what we come up with. Justin's getting acclimated to his kayak. Yeah, huge thanks to Joe for providing the kayak. She has a little tandem trailer that works great. She's got a really nice setup, very convenient. So, thank you, Joe. Let's see if I can put this up for that grass over there without getting hung up. Uh oh. I'm on, I think. I got a good one. Oh, he's in the pads. He's in the pads. Crap, it was right where I thought it would be. There he goes, he's out. First fish of the day. It's fat, so. Tiny child strikes. The bite's tough right now, guys. And this will count because we're in a new month. So we're starting over. Oh, fish. Fish. Okay, that fish was right where I was aiming. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on. Into these grasses that are with the pads. Because they're all locked up in there. They're not out on the shadows. Not right now, anyways. What a beautiful rattlesnake pattern on this 14 inch or 14 and a quarter. It's gonna make all this noise. Scare every fish in the entire lake. I thought he was bigger. He got into the pads. Only fish. All right. Doors closed. Thank you, fish. Oh, look, Justin. Ah, oh, yeah. 
bluegill. Big old bluegill. Lisa would be proud. Puggy poo. You've heard me mention Puggy poo. That's his mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, bluegill. This one's for you, Puggy poo. Yeah, this one's for Puggy poo. Her her boy needs to catch her one. There we go. That's only the second fish of the day. We're slow right now. But I think it's going to turn on with the minor feed coming in. He's got a pretty orange tail. I think it's a little copper nose bluegill. Thank you, Gil. Little bass. All right, pal, sit still. No, 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 no. Dang, he's fired up. Mm -hmm. They're right in this throat because they're probably coming through here. Yeah. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. These little rattlesnake pattern. That's about the size of the one that I had over there. His lips red, that means he's been eating. Yeah, they get red lips. They get kind of bruises from crayfish or whatever they're eating. Oh, so pretty. child you got a fish tank at home oh cute oh and he did a little tail stand all right all right chill little dude little dude oh he got like all three hooks. Yeah. His mouth is pinned shut. <laughs> this thing's actually surprising. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. It's the same material as the shirts I wear. Yeah. They're made for just to sh keep the sun off your skin. Cast right up in there. Frog? Yeah, anything. Not the jerk bait. Yeah, the frog will work. On those pads right there. All the way up by the shore. Get closer. Closer, please. There you go. Oh, shoot. Oh, 